That scavenger's just arrived in the jungle. He's been lurking around here for the past few days. I don't like it one little bit. The scent of this red flower is slightly lemony. The scent of this yellow flower is a little less acidic. Can you smell the difference, Mowgli? Close your eyes. Which flower is it? Uh, the red one? <laughs> your turn. The yellow one? The red one. Yeah, okay, nice going. Maybe my sense of smell is not as good as yours, but I've got my own ways of recognizing flowers. I look at their shapes, their colors. Ah! Oh! Quick, he's coming! Oh, where did those devils go? They've woken me up four times during my nap, and they think it's funny. Harjeet <sighs> certainly has an infernal knack for bringing a stink to everything and anyone around him. Do you think we lost him? Oh, that dreadful smell is still hanging in the air. He can't be far behind us. No, it can't be him. No animal smells that bad. Come on. Wait, not that way. We'll end up too close to Shere Khan. Don't worry. I know a shortcut along the edge of his territory. Ah, here's my favorite. What a delight. There's nothing like it, is there? Uh, nothing like it. It smells just as bad as over there. I can't smell its usual scent. Mowgli, help me. I can't tell which is the ripest mango anymore. Well, um, hmm. feel them. This one is all soft. It's got to be the ripest. You can eat this one for sure. Thanks. It's so tasty. That dreadful smell spread everywhere. Mowgli, Baba and Lali aren't with you? No, they're playing with Harjeet. Playing or driving him crazy? <laughs> My nose tells me Harjeet's angry. Even when Harjeet kicks up a big stink, he doesn't normally smell this bad. How will I find my two little ones? This stench has caused me to lose my sense of smell. Me too. We'd better stay alert. I wouldn't even recognize my own scent if I bumped into myself. <laughs> Don't worry, Raksha. There are other ways to find Bala and Lolly. Bala! Bala! Lolly! Say something! Show yourselves! There! What? Look! Shortcut? Now we're lost. Don't blame me. It's Hajit's stench. Hajit? Are you kidding? He's miles away. We've come too close to Shere Khan's territory. I'll bet it's the carcasses of all his prey that reeks so badly. Shut up or you'll get us caught. I don't want to be his next victim. <gasps> I'm scared. Get us out of here. <laughs> You've got some nerve coming to mock me on my own territory. Kalu the Crow at your service, Shere Khan. Your fame spreads beyond the jungle. I'm thinking of settling in the area and I've come to propose a deal. A deal? I'll help you hunt your prey and in return you leave me the leftovers. <laughs> I got to tell you, you're no use to me at all. <laughs> you see, there's only one animal in this jungle that Shere Khan trusts. Me! Keep your distance, you scrawny little jerkle! Oh, yeah? Enough, Tabaki. Follow me. <laughs> oh, jeez! Oh. Where Bolo and Lolly? They got away. Wait till I get my paws on them, Hal. <laughs> that banana's totally rotten. Doesn't seem to have any smell at all. <laughs> oh, Jeet's not the one causing the stink. He's lost his sense of smell, too. Okay, let's split up. Baggy will go with Raksha to find Lolly and Bala. 
Baloo and I will go and try to find where that horrible smell is coming from. The birds, the birds from high up, they can see far and wide. And they're not affected by the smell. Chill, Darcy! This way, Darcy! But it stinks down there! <laughs> oh, all right. What a stench! I can't smell those wolf cubs! Tabaki! What's that smell? Wasn't me, though, Master. I swear. Where are those tasty wolf cubs? Start looking, imbecile! My offer still stands, boss. It would be a shame to miss today's special offer. Catch one wolf cub, get another free. You've missed them by the whisker twice already. <laughs> but hey, if you're not hungry... Not so fast, Mr. Know-it-all. You've got one chance to prove your worth. the ravine. This is the third time we've been here. Do you like leading me around by the nose like this? Well, where are they? Yeah, where they at? You lost them. Kalu the expert, eh? Kalu the nitwit is more like it. They're hiding, but I'll find them. You better. There's something at the bottom of the big waterfall. It's down there. Some kind of gigantic flower that... <coughs> Thanks, Chill. Baloo and I can take it from here. I'm going to find Darcy. This way, Bagheera. That's the fourth time we've been past here. Those wretched wolf cubs won't stay still. Kids, huh? <laughs> with the jitters and a big mouth bird. Follow me. <laughs> Quick, Shere Khan is likely near. Where is the exit? There it is. Look, it's growing out of a tree trunk. It must have floated down the river and washed up here. Let's push it back into the water so it can go and stink somewhere else. I wonder if it could be an Aram Titan, a gigantic flower from Sumatra. It's come a long way. It stinks for three days when it blooms, but I never would have guessed it could totally wipe out an animal's sense of smell. This is no time for a botany lesson. Three days, you say? Help me. Oh, <sighs> oh what a relief. Can you smell anything? <laughs> That's wonderful! I can make out all the jungle's subtle smells once again. Me too. It's great! Uh, but that means that everyone's sense of smell will be back now, including Shere Khan. What are we going to do if we can't hunt anymore? I've got an idea. <laughs> Snifflers, you don't scare me. Then you don't scare us, Shere Khan! There you are! Out of my sight, you worthless, good-for-nothing mad grub! As for that cursed crew, I'd better not catch him flapping on my territory again. That bird certainly hatched out of nowhere. We'll have to keep our eyes on him. I'll keep an eye on him. My beloved flowers, I'm so happy I can smell your pleasant aromas again. Tomorrow, we'll go and study that stinky flower up close. It must have washed up near the Great Lake. Huh? 
We're all set if we've got these. You sure it can't wait another two days, Blue? <laughs> Don't understand it. He should have been back by now. It's not like him. Bagheera! Ah. Oh. You're wounded. I sprained my paw when I fell into a hole just when I was about to catch an antelope that I'd exhausted chasing it. So it was you. The wolves easily caught a tired antelope just now. They thought someone must have been chasing it. Wolves were lucky. I was stuck in a hole and my meal got away. I'm not going to be doing much hunting on three paws. It's all right. It's nothing much, just a little sprain. Rest it, and in a few days, you'll be able to chase a whole herd of antelope. Don't worry, Bagheera. We'll go and see the wolves tomorrow. I'm sure they'll share the antelope with you when they hear what happened. Meanwhile, Bagheera, sleep is as good as food. Ugh. I can't leap. Tough luck, then. You'll just have to sleep with us. I've been dreaming about that antelope. But I really can smell game. Bagheera stole our antelope! No, no, I haven't moved from here. I've only just woken up. Don't lie, Bagheera. That's our game there. And Rockshaw saw you slip into our lair last night. You were limping exactly like that. He must have done it unconsciously, in his sleep. Sleepwalking, have I? I'd have remembered. Anyway, it's not possible because Bagheera was next to me all night. Bagheera's a friend of the wolves. He'd never do anything like that. The evidence says otherwise, Mowgli. Bagheera, even if you did not mean to do it, stealing food is punished by the law of the jungle. Five days without food in the Misty Valley. No one is above the law. Don't worry, a few days fasting will do me good. All prove that you're innocent! Above all, don't go near a cactus or the quicksand! Good luck, Bagheera! This is the only exit. Make sure he doesn't escape. The wolves were right. Look. Well, it could have been another panther. Kala, for example. Kala has a scar on his paw. We'd see the mark. Well, maybe it's Shere Khan, then. Mm, the paw print's too small to be Shere Khan. And is your brain too small to think about any other culprit than Bagheera? I'm going to follow the tracks, and you'll see. They'll go somewhere else, not to our tree. I'd like to point out that a bear's brain is as big as a bison. Hm, I'm not sure that's very flattering. The thief came over the rocks. There'll be no more prints. Use your sense of smell, Baloo. Bears have got one, haven't they? Wolves have too. That's how they found Bagheera's trail. Maybe they made a mistake. Come on, Baloo. I can smell cat. <laughs> now you can see that it's not Bagheera. He wouldn't put his paws in the water even if he was dying of hunger. I don't have the sense of smell of a young bear anymore. You know, Mowgli, maybe I got it mixed up with a goat's trail. Or a warthog. <gasps> a warthog. Thanks, Baloo. Thanks? I'll catch you later, Baloo.
the best sense of smell in the jungle. Yeah, perhaps not all warthogs, but me. Yes, I'm the best. <laughs> but when it comes to concentration, my meals escape thanks to you. Do you want me to die of hunger? <sighs> I can feel all my strength leaving me. He usually never exaggerates. Okay, Rana, we're sorry. But if you do us a little favor, there'll be a big meal for you. A big meal? All right, but I eat first, and as much as I like. <laughs> <laughs> all right. He's not the type to stuff himself either. That, the scent of a goat? You must have nanny goat droppings in your nose, Baloo. That's the scent of a panther. Rana, I should point out that panthers do not live underground. There! You'd better get back on the trail. If not, no big meal! Since when was it a crime to eat truffles? Are they trying to kill me or what? This time, Mowgli, there's no doubt about it. Bagheera is guilty. It's there! Rana! Don't you think of anything else but eating? Not at all. The panther scent is coming from up there. What a way to thank me. Bagheera couldn't have climbed up there with his injured paw. So it was somebody else. Bagheera's innocent. La 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 I don't suppose you're the kind to go totally crazy either. Then the real culprit was spying on us. He trapped Bagheera on purpose. Bagheera's in danger. I'm finally going to get rid of you at last. Since you chased me off your territory last time we met, I've only had one thought in my mind. I should have guessed it was you, Carla. Now I've got you exactly where I wanted you. Disappear slowly is much better than dropping a rock on your head. But what are you? Go and warn Akila. I'll stay here to stop them from leaving. <laughs> no! no, that's enough of that. Help! <laughs> Carla. Apparently you don't like water. Maybe you prefer quicksand? <laughs> Bagheera! Where are you? Bagheera! Mowgli, don't come any nearer! Oh no! Don't worry, I've got a plan! Carla, are you behind all this? What are you talking about? We're alone. You can talk. Seeing as how we're done for, no one will ever know. Unless you aren't clever enough to plan all that. I am. I planned all this from the beginning. I was spying on you when Bagheera told you about the escaped antelope. I knew that the law of the jungle condemns thieves to the Misty Valley. Bagheera alone and wounded in the valley? It was the perfect opportunity to get rid of him. Well done, Mowgli. If that's not a full confession, my name's not Baloo. I'll get you out of there. Bagheera, the entire wolf pack apologizes to you. And here is a gift to help you forgive us. Thank you for having found the real culprit, Mowgli. It's mainly thanks to Rana. We could never have done it without his sense of smell. That case, I propose a great feast in honor of Rana. Let's go and fetch him as much as he can eat. There's that great meal we promised you. Yahoo! <laughs> 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 Only a tradition after all. Don't worry, my little twig. I'll be very careful. The west wind won't get the better of me. Your daddy Ravi will be back soon. 
He's gone to find a lucky plant to celebrate your birth. The White Cliff, where the west wind blows all the time? Where you birds hardly ever go because it's too dangerous. It was to protect and bring luck to our egg. Ravi insisted on going, but he should have been back by now. <gasps> Ravi was maybe injured on the way. We've got to find him quickly and bring him back. We're going to need Cheel's help. Cheel, Vera and myself are going to fly to the White Cliff. I can't leave my egg on its own. But you're connected to Ravi. If we want to find him, we've got to use your instincts. Mowgli's right. Only you can feel his presence from kilometers away. Exactly. That's why Baloo is going to keep your egg warm. Huh? What? Oh, no. No, no. Come on, Baloo. We jungle kings will help. Have no fear. We will come to do you good. Through the nettles or through the mud. Why don't we ask Bagheera? Baggy's gone hunting. Have you forgotten? Hmm. Baloo, you can't fly. Or be carried on my back. However, you have soft, warm fur. Ravi and Vera's egg would be really comfy, cuddled up against you. Give me the egg. You're a marvelous bear. Happy hatching, Baloo! How's an old bear like me going to keep you warm without crushing you? You're so fragile. Baloo's changed into a bird. He's hatching out eggs now. <laughs> I order you to give me that egg. It belongs to Vera and Ravi. If you want it, you'll have to catch it. Give me that egg, Masha. It's Ravi and Vera's. I've got to keep it warm. <laughs> you hatching out an egg? <laughs> I'm not joking. Give me that egg. Viva! You know what? I'm going to eat it. Thanks to that egg, I'll have eternal youth. What utter nonsense. If you eat that egg, you'll just have a stomach ache. It's about to hatch. But Darcy said that if a monkey eats a newly laid egg, he or she becomes forever young. No, that's not it at all. I explained to Darcy that our eggs were the future youth of the jungle and that we should protect them from being eaten. Not that we should eat them to become young. That's utter nonsense. <laughs> Get my egg of eternal youth! <laughs> <laughs> Robbie! Rob! 
twig. We'll come and get you. Don't move. should have gone. You're right. It wasn't a good idea to fly in that kind of wind, my little twig. We ought to go. That wind can still give us some nasty surprises. <laughs> Those make you sneeze. They would do. It's mustard. Can you take a sprig, Mowgli? That way I won't have come for nothing. We'd be scared of the white cliff. Ha <laughs> ha. You don't know us very well. The egg. Give us the egg. <laughs> ah. You should have told me. I love family reunions. <laughs> Did you hear that? <laughs> Baloo? <laughs> Quick, Chew! What shall we do? I don't know! Look, now it's just the two of us, my big Baloo. I don't want to see this. It's too cruel! <laughs> Move away, Baloo! If I hadn't gone to find that stupid plant, I don't see what's so lucky about it. It's not magic that makes this plant lucky. That's you! Mustard irritates cats' nostrils because they've got a very good sense of smell. That's you! That's why it protects our newborn. It's not just a superstition. Thank you for looking after our egg, Baloo. Don't mention it. It was what I promised. Little egg! <laughs> if you have fleas and scratch your rear, we jungle kings will help, have no fear. We will come to do you good, through the nettles or through the mud. Now, who can tell me the names of our constellations? Me, 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 me! My dear Bagheera, how about you? Uh, me? Uh, uh, there's the old bear constellation. Uh, uh, no, the the foal star. <laughs> 
What are you going to do at night if you can't find your way by the stars? I'll ask you again tomorrow morning. By then, I hope you'll know the lesson by heart. Ugh, I'll do what I can. If you want to, you can. And if you can, you should. Right, that's enough for today. If you recite the lesson aloud, it's easier to remember. I can help you if you like, Baggy. It's always better together than on your own. I can do it on my own, thanks. If I want to. But we... We'll meet up tomorrow morning. You'll see. I'll know everything about constellations. If you recite the lesson aloud, it's easier to remember. Got to find a solution with some class so that I'm not ashamed in class. Constellations up on high look like animals in the sky. The stars that form the Great Bear remind me of Baloo in his lair. The Eagle constellation is chill in my imagination. That of the Scorpion is Tabaki thinking he's a lion. <laughs> Bravo! Bravo! That rhyme, that swing! Really cool! Aren't you exaggerating a bit? Not at all! I'm telling you, you're really gifted. A real poet and music lover. Do you want to be my guest of honour? You could sing us some nice poems. Come on then, artist. The, the constellations, constellations up on high look like, like animals in the sky. The sky. Uh. Well, Bagheera, ready for the constellation? Baggy? Oh, we'll be late. Icky, go and tell Baloo that we're coming. I'm going to see what he's doing. It's me, all right, the Prince of the Night. I'm one strong cat, you can be sure of that. If danger comes your way, call me without delay. Master Bargy with his mighty paw makes the villains respect the law. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go eat one monkey or two, Master. Ow! I've got a much better idea. Who says? Bagheera says man cup. If we keep the panther in the monkey's temple, we can trap the man-cub when he comes to find him. The monkey's temple? But there are lots of weird legends about it. <laughs> exactly. It'll be easier to trap our man-cub. Here's my plan. Mowgli and Bagheera won't be long now. Bagheera had some revision to do to make sure he could recite his lesson. I'm pleased to know that Bagheera is taking the lesson seriously. <sighs> I'm going to take a little nap to digest while I wait for them. Now shake your booty for the master. Baggy! Long live the king of slime! Master Baggy, Master Baggy, Master Baggy! Master Baggy. Hey, have you seen Marsha? I wanted to thank her for having me here before I go back to Mowgli and Baloo. Marsha? Marsha? Marsha, what are you doing there? Sheer Khan. What's going on here, Marsha? I'm sorry, Master Baggy. It was my tribe or you. Master Baggy? There's only one master here, and that's me! I'll see about that if you open that door and face me, you coward! Watch them while I'm away. I've got to persuade the monkeys to help me trap the man-cub. I'm sure he must already be searching for you. Masha and Bagheera are my prisoners. Mowgli will soon come to help his friend. If you bring him to me in the temple, I will free Masha. But if you try and warn him, I'll eat her. Understand?
The only way to get out of here is to grab the liana that opens the bamboo grid. But how are we going to get rid of that stupid jackal? No one's more cowardly than him, so if we... Hey, Tabaki! Did you know that the temple was haunted by a monkey who was killed by a jackal? Mako! That's what the monkey was called! If he finds out that you're there, he'll... Well, it's better if you don't know what he'll do to you, eh, Marsha? You're talking nonsense just to make me go away. Everyone knows that ghosts don't exist. While I'm here, this prison will be well guarded. Can you call for help? Yes, if you cover me. Master Bargy has just one thing to say. Mako the monkey is coming your way. So listen to me, Jackal, if you don't want to stay. Flee now, or from these ruins you'll never be free. Help! Come and help me! I'm locked in here with Bagheera! But Shere Khan threatened us if... I want you to repeat Bagheera's slam! The one that will make Tabaki believe the place is haunted by Mako the monkey who was killed by a jackal! Listen! Can you feel his deadly cold breath ruffling your fur? Mako is here now and you will taste his anger! Baggy? Marsha? That's strange. That's enough now. Is Bagheera here? I saw some birds take off and... Oh! Can you feel his deadly cold breath ruffling your fur? Mako is here now and will taste his anger. I'm here just for you. You know that it's true! Well done, Mona. Baggy? Marsha? That's strange. Baggy? <laughs> Shere Khan! What have you done to Bagheera? You think too much about others, man cub. You'd be better off worrying about yourself. <laughs> You'll never catch me, Shere Khan! Mowgli fell into Shere Khan's trap. I'm going to tell the monkeys that you're free. You can't escape me now, man cub. Climb on. On here. Baggy and the monkeys saved me from Shere Khan. It's always better together than on your own. <sighs> the constellations up on high look like animals in the sky. The stars that form the great bear remind me of Baloo in his lair. <laughs> the, the eagle, eagle constellation, constellation is chill in my imagination. imagination. That, that of the, the scorpion is Tabaki thinking he's a lion. <laughs> Very proud of you, my dear Bagheera. What's more, you've managed to pass on your knowledge to Masha and the monkeys with your sung poetry. They're called slams, Baloo, and it was Icky who gave me the idea. Where were you? You left me, you coward! No, not at all, Master. I was chased by Marco, the ghost monkey who eats jackals. They fooled you yet again, you idiot! No, they didn't. I even met that Marco. Uh, I am already here, ready to unleash my fury. I am here for you, my dear Tabaki. <laughs> We're looking for a stick with that shape. Okay, Baloo. That's easy. I'll find that in no time. Uh, 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 what shape was it again? 
We should find one quickly. The river's washed up lots of dead wood. Look at this one. It's a funny shape. We're not looking for something funny, Mowgli. We're looking for something useful. Right. I must concentrate. A stick shaped like... <gasps> a maggot! That's it. Eat it. There'll be more for me when I eat you later. It's okay. I've found one. Well done, Bagheera. There's a drought in the wolves' territory, and this'll help me find underground spring. I don't know what yours is good for, apart from scratching your back. <laughs> Ow! Who threw that back? You did! <laughs> uh, but how did you manage to throw it from over there? It's magic! Magic? I don't think so, but I wonder why it does that. Maybe it's because of its shape. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Baloo, the thing is to make it spin really fast. Wow! Mowgli, champion thrower! And you could have been champion panther knocker-outer if Bagheera hadn't ducked. Come on, Darzee. Come to me so I can knock. Did you know I could do magic? Mowgli! Sure, and I'm Shere Khan's brother-in-law. Stick, I order you to return! It's true! It's magic! Rana, are you okay? C can you multiply yourself too? Mowgli hasn't got any special powers, Rana. It's the shape of the stick that makes it come back when you throw it. What a stupid joke. Oh! If your stick is only good for playing nasty tricks, it would be better if you got rid of it. It's Rana who's got no sense of humor. And you must admit that because of the stick, he had lots of nuts to eat. Baloo's right, Mowgli. Hey, Hita! Look what I found! It's not for a joke, it's to show her. Ugh. Wow! It's the shape, uh, the shape of Mowgli that makes <laughs> Mowgli always come back to the same place. <laughs> you no longer need to tire yourself out collecting them. Ooh. That stick's great. Can I try it? Look how you threw that! <laughs> oh! That's not very nice, Mowgli. You didn't even tell me how to throw it. I didn't mean it like that, Hita. You'll see. You just need to practice a bit. Thanks for the present! Hey! <laughs> Give me back my stick! Since when does a man cub tell monkeys what to do? Give me that stick, you. Listen, Mowgli, your stick causes too much trouble. You really should break it in two and throw it away. No, I can't break it, Baloo. And it makes great music, too. And as you say, you can use it to scratch your back. Mowgli could maybe keep it if he's careful. It isn't to punish Mowgli, Bagheera. It's because soon all the jungle will be fighting to get that stick. You're not going to break it? And you're not going to stick close to Mowgli all day. You're right, Darzy. It's stupid to break such a great stick. I'll play with it when there's no one around. Good idea, Mowgli. Baloo will be pleased. No, Darzy. We mustn't tell him. I know how to separate Darzy from her friends. 
There are some really poor hiding places, don't you think so? Hey! My stick! Don't worry, Mowgli. I'll hide somewhere much higher. Give me that back, Kalu! Hey! The thief! I'm going to tell! How's this for a hiding place? <laughs> Kalu stole the stick that Mowgli hid! What do you mean, that Mowgli hid? There's no point getting angry. He wasn't going to tell you. It's a secret. Better and better. Leave the bone, Shere Khan, and come and eat at my place. On the menu, there's Little Bird for me and Man Cub for you, my master. Mowgli. <laughs> Those are Kalu's, all right. And Mowgli was here, too. Kalu must be preparing some kind of dirty trick. Let's go to his nest. Don't worry, everything's fine. <sighs> Yay! As you said, yay. Shere Khan! <sighs> Gira. You've lost this time, man cub. My plan worked well. Now they're all occupied. You've had it too. No! <laughs> Fine. We've got to help Mowgli. Shere Khan, if you dare lay a claw on Mowgli... <gasps> Here, Mowgli! Darcy, you're fantastic! I know. The others often tell me that I'm very intelligent. Except that then, I don't know why, they laugh. <laughs> Do you think hitting me with a stick will make me fall? It's not just for hitting with, Shere Khan. Baloo, catch this! Pull the Liana taut. He... he's not going to do that! I stick for lots of things. <laughs> My stick! Kalu, you stupid crew! I'll get you for this! Don't mention it, Shere Khan. I'm sorry, Mowgli. We've looked everywhere. I can't understand it. Someone must have stolen it. It doesn't matter, Mowgli. You'll find another one. But of course! There must be others near the river. I'm coming with you. And this time I won't tell Baloo that you're going to hide it. <laughs> well done, Baloo. I should have kept my mouth shut. <laughs> ah!
It's much more serious than I thought. Our tree's covered in a kind of fungus that's suffocating it. But it's not going to die, is it? I don't know, Mowgli. But for the moment, we'll have to find another place to sleep. I promise that we'll do everything to save it. It's always been our tree. You can trust Baloo. He knows lots of remedies. But the tree will not get better quickly. Should I look for another place to sleep for the three of us? Yes, unfortunately. At least for a while. So, are you ready for a bout with me, eh? Come on, come on. I'm waiting for you. Oh, hello, Ricky. I'm sorry, but I don't really feel like playing. What's the matter? Our tree is withering. Oh, yeah? That doesn't matter. There are lots of other trees. Yes, but that's ours. Mine. Baloo and Bagheera's. I grew up in that tree. Wait, wait, wait. I can show you some great places where you'll sleep really well. Really? I'm going to show you a place with a fantastic view. You're not the only one interested, but if you want it, I can make sure you get priority right now. Where is it? Well, you see, I wasn't lying. Pretty impressive, eh? Impressive, but very, very small. It's not small, it's compact. It would be a bit of a crush for the three of us. Uh, you've got to decide what you want. If you want a great view, you've got to climb a bit. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it, Bagheera. You will. Keep trying. I'm sure you'll be able to save our tree. Have you seen how original it is? You really can't be tall. I mean, it's really very low. <laughs> Where are you? I slipped! I'm in a hole! Here! That's not a hole. It's a sleeping place. Baloo will never get in here. He'll just have to crawl. It'll be good exercise for him. Honestly, this is a great deal and very unusual. Yes, well, maybe it's just a bit too unusual and... Uh, what's that smell? Smell? What smell? <laughs> uh... <coughs> Who on earth lived there before? A uh, polecat, I think. Why? The leaves will stick there all night and tomorrow. When they fall, the tree will be cured. And if they fall straight away? That would mean that it wasn't a good method. <sighs> Where is it? Uh, what is it? It's there, on the rock. How do we get to it? It's very easy. You cross this pond of pure water. You get up in the morning, take a quick little dip in there, and you come out all... Covered in mud? What's more, in the evening when you're talking about a marsh, you're talking about... Mosquitoes! <laughs> and when they sting, we scratch happily? You're too choosy! Find something on your own. I heard your predicament. It's terrible. Baloo, Bagheera and I have got to leave our tree. If Shere Khan wasn't so selfish and nasty, you could go live with him. Yes, very funny. Do you think I'd throw myself in your pal's mouth just like that? He's not my pal, just an acquaintance that I use. Do you know what I mean? If the truth be known, I detest him. But on the other hand, I like you, and if I could help you... <sighs> You see the jungle better from the sky. I'll find a good place for you to sleep. You'll see. Hmm. I have to find another remedy. If the roots also come to the surface, that's a very bad sign. Where's the deer you promised me? It was there. It was just begging to be eaten, but it got away. You are totally hopeless. You are no good to me at all. You just live off my leavings, that's all. Uh, get lost, you feathered fool. <laughs> when I think that there is a little man cub who finds himself with nowhere to live, a man cub who is wandering in the jungle all alone. Well, well. And knowing how helpful you are, I imagine that you have found him something. Yes, a nice place, not very far from here. 
A place where a tiger could easily hide and surprise a solitary man cub. Oh. Mowgli will never fall into such an obvious trap. It'll be easy, believe me. It's a hopeless plan. Keep your remarks to yourself, Tabaki. It is your plans that are hopeless. Oh. Something. I can get along fine by myself. Ah! <sighs> That's a shame. Is it far away? I'm sure he's going to show him something pathetic. The <laughs> traitor! What are you doing there? Yeah, I know you. Do you want to suggest a place to Mowgli too? Mowgli can sleep wherever he wants. It doesn't matter to me. What do you want with Mowgli? Well, what do you think? You see, I didn't lie to you. It's... it's... Incredible! And you haven't seen the inside yet. Go in then, man-cub. First, let me take a look. I tell Baloo and Baggy, they'll come to see this. Take it from me, you just won't believe what's inside this tent. Well, well, well. So you've changed friends, have you? Ricky! <sighs> just who we needed. Is that all he's found you for a sleeping place? You can see that it's falling apart. Look, it's fine. Don't you know that if Kalu says that it's fine, that means in reality that it's not? What do you know about it? Nothing! If this feathered fibber says something, you always have to believe the opposite. Absolutely not at all! That tiger's a cruel idiot. Everyone knows that. You... There! It's like I said. You are right. Cher Khan is excessively intelligent. What's more, this kind of thing's not stable. The slightest gust of wind and it blows away. Look, no windows. That means even in broad daylight, it's night in there. You see those things? They're no use at all. Look, heave ho! Leave that alone, you stupid fool! <laughs> you say that, but I know you mean the opposite. <gasps> You've got to admit that Ricky's right. It doesn't seem very strong. It is, it is. Go and look inside. Hey, Tabaki, oh. are you there too? Come on, you can give us your opinion. <laughs> Tabaki, come and help me. Get out of it yourself. You're the one who's so clever. Hey, that's enough. Break it up, you guys. <laughs> If you'd let me in on your plan, Mowgli would already be inside. Which of you two is Shere Khan's favourite? Oh, what stupid idiots! Wait for me, Master. All that's Kalu's fault. I'll get you out of there. I said this wasn't the right place for you. You're right. And the occupier didn't seem too pleasant. Wait! Let me help you! Master, remember that Kalu called you a cruel idiot! <laughs> Baggy? I didn't find anything. I'm sorry. Ooh. Don't worry, Mowgli. These flies eat tree fungus. They've saved our tree. Look! Right. It'll be a while before we can live in it again, but it will soon get its strength back. We'll stay around here to keep an eye on its recovery. There! It's ready. 
It's not too high, not too low, not too light, not too dark, not too damp, but not too dry. It's totally ricky-ticky. <laughs> <laughs>